Hi, this is Joe from Proto Dojo, back with another project. A few weeks ago, I found my old Nintendo system tucked away in the back corner of my uncle's garage. And rather than throwing it away or selling it on eBay, I thought, there's probably some potential here to modify these into some cool devices. So today, I want to focus on the controller. At first glance, the controller appears to be completely normal and unmodified. But you'll notice, instead of the Nintendo cable, is a USB cable. So the second idea I had was, why don't I turn this into a flash drive? But then again, you know, you always read about posts pretty much daily about somebody turning some physical object into a flash drive. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to retain the control of the buttons. In addition, create an homage to gamers of the 80s. So you'll notice that if I plug this into the computer, Even though there's power going to the flash drive inside the controller, it doesn't appear connected to the computer. And actually, this is the default security feature I built into the controller to not connect the flash drive just yet. You know, in the 80s, there was a game called Contra, which I played a lot. And if you typed in a code during the title sequence, it allowed you to get 30 lives. It was up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. It's kind of become a staple of geek culture. It's also known as the Konami code, since Konami used the same code in several of their video games. So the, what I did is, if you type in up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start, you'll hear a click. The microcontroller activated a relay, which then connects it to the computer, and only then is it mounted. So by typing in the Konami code, it unlocks the data on the flash drive, and then connects it to the computer. So why don't we take a look inside and I'll show you how it worked. I've already removed the screws to the back panel and as you can see I've added quite a few things to the controller. The way it works is power initially comes in from the USB cable and powers the Arduino Pro Mini which is the microcontroller which holds all of the logic to whether or not you enter the correct sequence of buttons. You'll see here the orange, red, and yellow cable from the controller board feeds into the Arduino Mini these are the connections from the controller that I can read and monitor to see what button you pushed, up or down or left and right. Once the microcontroller validates your sequence of button presses, it then sends a signal to the relay, which then allows power from the USB cable to go directly to the one gig flash drive, which here I removed the USB connector and soldered directly to the board. So I've gone ahead and connected the programmer to the Arduino board. You'll see here on the screen is my code. If I activate the serial monitor, you notice that every 50 milliseconds it's showing the stored value of your button sequence. And as you hit the buttons on the controller, you'll see the value populate that sequence. And every time you click start, it'll check it against the code. If it's incorrect, nothing will happen. If it's correct, it'll allow power to the USB drive. That's it. Thanks for watching. And as always, check my website for more info and some detailed photos of the project. And uh, all I can say is stay tuned since I have a few more Nintendo projects planned for the future.